Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I have got a grocery haul to share with you and I'm also going to share my meal plan for the week. All of my meals this week are coming out of my new cookbook, the Essential Pantry Cookbook, which means that I didn't have to get many ingredients for my dinners this week, just kind of fill in items and breakfast and lunch and snacks. I also wanted to wish a happy Mother's Day to anyone that applies to and uh, I also wanted to say that if they, this day is difficult for you in any way, my my heart is with you as well. I am going to be doing a giveaway on today's video so make sure that you stay till the end to find out how to enter and what I'm giving away. It is a good one. Okay so I'm going to share the haul first and then we'll get into the meal plan. Uh, I did go to Hy-Vee today just because Adam needed to go there for something else and so he actually went with me and we just picked everything up there. So since today is Mother's Day I did decide to get a dessert for this evening. I love cherry pie and they had these half cherry pies for just $5.99 and I'm going to cook dinner tonight but I didn't want to make a dessert so I went ahead and grabbed that. I got two bunches of cilantro. This is going to be for a homemade salsa and then I'm also going to be using it for a couple other recipes as well. For some taco wraps this week, I got some butter leaf lettuce. This was actually on sale for $2.99, which is a great price at Hy-Vee. And then we were all out of cherry tomatoes. I always like to keep those on hand for salads and snacking, so I grabbed a container of these. I got two uh, two-pound containers of strawberries. These were actually on sale for I think $4.88 each, which isn't a bad price right now. So I went ahead and got two boxes. I'll probably wash and cut up one today and then I'll wait on the other one just to make sure that they don't uh, get slimy before we eat them all. But usually we have no trouble eating strawberries. My kids <laughs> love them a lot. Um, I also got a pineapple. I thought that I would cut that up and we would kind of have it for uh, fruit salad and parfaits and uh, my kids can take it for lunch throughout the week. I also decided to just get some iceberg garden salad. Sometimes I like this as just a quick option for lunch during the work week. I also grabbed some blueberries for another fresh fruit option this week. These were on sale for I think $3.99. I got one tomato just in case we needed it for sandwiches. And then I went ahead and got regular cucumbers this week rather than the uh, like English hydroponic ones. These were on sale three for $2. So I got two of these. I am going to hopefully make like a cucumber salad later this week. So um, hopefully those will work for that. I did pick up some yogurts. They had the Chobani on sale for a dollar each. I just got two because I thought that I could have these for like a yogurt parfait for either breakfast or a snack this week. Um, I do like the less sugar Chobani. This one is Monterey strawberry and this one is vanilla and cinnamon. They're both really good. And then I've been getting my kids these in place of the Chobani flips um, just because they have less sugar in them and they seem to like them just as well. So this one is the Greek Crunch Light and Fit S'mores. I got two of those and then I got one um, strawberry cheesecake and one uh, cookies and cream. I did get some deli meat. Uh, I had actually a full um, punch card worth of punches for the Deluso meat. So at Hy-Vee, if you buy 10 pounds, you get the next one free. So I got a pound of pastrami. Adam was actually with me and I was like, it's a good one to get because <laughs> it's like the most expensive meat. So normally when I go and get my free pound, I either get like corned beef or pastrami or roast beef. And so he said he would have that on sandwiches for lunch this week. He really likes it. And then I also just got three quarters of a pound of double smoked ham. We can use this for sandwiches. And then I also got some English muffins so we could make a breakfast sandwiches as well. Um, I got some mozzarella cheese. I have a few recipes that call for it this week, so I wanted to make sure that I had enough. I think all the recipes call for shredded, but if I need it, I can go ahead and shred it myself. We're running low on butter, so I got one pound of salted butter. And then Connor has really been liking celery, so I've been washing it and cutting it up, um, and he's been eating it either plain or dipped in ranch, and then sometimes he likes it with peanut butter on it too. Uh, I did get one bottle of the Simply Light Lemonade. 
So this has less sugar in it, and I don't believe I've ever tried this before, but sometimes I like to mix a little bit of lemonade in with my sparkling water. So it just kind of gives it a little bit of like flavor and sweetness. So let me know if you guys have tried this. I know sometimes these like light lemonades can be kind of like, bleh. <laughs> like I don't know, they taste kind of like diety or whatever, but uh, we'll see. I've never tried this one before, so we'll see how that goes. I got some 2% milk. We were running low on that. Mostly we just use milk for cooking and cereal. Um, Hy-Vee had these on sale. They're protein snack combos. Uh, I like to keep these in the fridge. The kids can throw them in their lunch or have them after school for a snack. So this one has um, beef summer sausage and cheddar cheese. And then this one has turkey sausage and Colby Jack cheese. Um, I did get a bag of the baked chips. This is one of my favorite things to get because I like getting the baked chips. They have less calories in them than regular chips and my kids can take them in their lunch with a sandwich. Super easy during the week. So this one comes with baked Lay's, baked Cheetos, um, Smart Food, the white cheddar popcorn, which is really good, baked um, cheese ruffles and barbecue baked Lay's as well. And then I was a lot of Triscuits. I like to have those on hand for snacking. Adam got some of this Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. I'm not sure what he's gonna do with this, but I think he's seen some recipes that he might wanna use it for, so he got that. I got one can of diced tomatoes for a um, dinner recipe. I just wanna make sure that I had enough on hand. And then I got one of my containers of the AE Dairy Old Fashioned Cottage Cheese, and then one container of the Light Sour Cream. I also got one small container of vanilla ice cream that's gonna go with the cherry pie tonight. For frozen veggies, I got one bag of baby broccoli florets. That's gonna be a side for dinner this week. And then I got a bag of frozen green beans for a side as well. Um, I believe Adam's tried this before. This is a Big Mo beef rub. I think he is going to be smoking a beef brisket this coming weekend. So he likes this for um, rub for that. So he got that. I got some English muffins. These are just the 100 calorie light multigrain Thomas ones. If you never tried these, they're pretty good. And then I also got a package of whole wheat bagels. Um, these are the first national bagel company, Wheat and Honey, and they actually have five grams of fiber per bagel, which is pretty good. So I went ahead and got those. I got some corn tortillas. I have flour but I wanted to have this on hand for another recipe that I'm making this week as well. They were really actually running low on <laughs> the corn tortillas. This was the only um, brand they had left, so I went ahead and got that. I got some pretzels. Connor actually really likes pretzels and I haven't purchased them for a while. Normally he'll do like pretzels with cheese and apples for an after school snack, so I got those for him or anyone else who wants them. And then I also got some of the Tostitos multigrain scoops. I'm gonna be making some homemade salsa, so those will be for that. Um, for soda, we were all out, and so I got some zero sugar wild cherry Pepsi and some Code Red Diet Mountain Dew. Um, Adam wanted to try this caffeinated sparkling ice. I, I feel like I've purchased this before, but I can't remember exactly. So he wanted to try the strawberry citrus the orange passion fruit and the triple citrus so he got those um i've never seen these anywhere other than hy V. these crisp green crispy fruit there's basically like six snack packs in there of um, freeze-dried apples my kids really like them and they're super easy to take for a snack or for their lunch so i got a refill of those and then adam picked up a couple of these iowa smokehouse um, jalapeno beef sticks he is always looking for stuff to take to work for um, snacks, like low carb snacks to have at work. So he's gonna take these. He's actually back in the office now um, several days a week. And then he saw this huge bag of um, salted in shell peanuts. He really likes these. Th this will obviously last quite a while. Um, it's actually a four pound bag. So we'll have to see if we can find a Ziploc we can fit those in, but he was excited to see those. I was excited to see the Tyson black and chicken strips. So this is something that's kind of hard for me to find around here. And last time I was at Hy-Vee, they were out of them. But I really like to cook these in the air fryer. They make a really quick um, lunch with a salad. I like to dip them in ranch or sometimes I'll have them, like cut them up and put them on top of a salad. So got those. And then he also got a couple different um, Jimmy Dean, um, these are just like the egg low carb um, breakfast sandwiches so this one is let's see bacon spinach onion and parmesan 
eggs and then it comes with turkey sausage and cheese and then this one is ham pepper mushroom bacon and onion with turkey sausage and cheese so I think he's tried one of these before I think maybe this one um, and he likes it so anyway it's a good option I don't always meal prep breakfast I don't always have time on the weekends and it's something that he can throw in the microwave um, that he can you know take with him on the road to go to work so again not a lot of things that I needed for dinners this week because obviously I'm cooking out of my cookbook and it's a pantry cookbook so let me share with you the recipes that I'm going to make okay so if you guys haven't heard me talk about this uh, my cookbook the essential pantry cookbook is now um, on sale on Amazon so you can go ahead and order it if you haven't already again thank you so much for all of your support I really appreciate it it was super fun writing this I'm really proud of it and I think that the recipes are gonna be awesome um, for people I've gotten a lot of feedback that a lot of the recipes are family friendly and they're not complicated so that is exactly what the concept of this was so I'm glad to know that people are liking it okay so here is um, the meal planner that I'm using this week this is just the smaller size of the carry O meal planner and then I'm also using my cookbook stand that I ordered on Amazon a long time ago, and I love it. Um, I'll link the stand down below. It's very inexpensive. So tonight we're actually going to have shrimp scampi out of my cookbook, which is on page 83. And then I'm going to make the homemade Alfredo sauce that's on page 23 as well. And then I think I may make a salad or broccoli on the side, and then I'll heat up some bread as well. Um, on Monday, I'm going to make the Korean beef tacos, and this is on page 108 of the cookbook. So here's the recipe in the book. These are really delicious, and I've gotten a lot of great feedback from you guys on this recipe as well. So I'll probably have those with the corn tortillas, and then I'll also have them with lettuce wraps as well, um, in case Adam and I want to cut out some carbs and use those instead. And then with that, I'm going to look up a recipe for maybe like some type of a Thai-inspired cucumber salad. I'm not quite sure yet. And then we'll also have fruit on the side. Um, on Tuesday, I'm planning to make the slow cooker chicken chili, which is in page 105 of the cookbook, along with the homemade salsa that's on page 28. Both of those recipes are so good. That slow cooker chicken chili is awesome, and it's super simple. It is delicious. Your whole family <laughs> will love it. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm going to make the spaghetti pizza that's in the cookbook. This is on page 52. So this is a recipe that actually um, I remember from my childhood. And you guys might have heard of it before, but essentially it's like a pizza made in a pie plate. But you use um, a spaghetti and like Parmesan and egg mixture for the crust. It's pretty unique. So I'm going to make that along with the garlic cheese sticks that are on page 121. Um, and then I put broccoli down here, but I may, I have salad that I can do for a side too. So those might be kind of interchangeable. Um, and then Thursday, I'm going to make the Cajun beans and rice that's on page 63 of the cookbook. I'm super excited to make this again. This is a really great recipe. I actually have some sausage in the freezer that I need to use up. Um, and then with that, I will make green beans. I have biscuits written down, but I don't know if we'll need it since we're going to have the rice, so we'll see. And then Friday, we normally either get takeout or have pizza, and then Saturday, I don't normally plan ahead that far yet, just because I'm not quite sure we're going to be doing, whoops, sorry, we're going to be doing next weekend. So anyway, that is the meal plan for uh, this week. Hopefully that gave you some inspiration. Now onto the giveaway. Okay, so here are the items in the giveaway. Um, I just wanted to say thank you again and express my appreciation for all of your support, both with my cookbook and on my YouTube channel. I know I've been in a little bit of a lull right now with posting videos, but I've been experiencing a little bit of burnout, so I'm going to get revved back up this week, so no worries. More videos coming up. But for this giveaway, I'm going to be giving away one of these new Starbucks cups that I just actually Actually bought at Starbucks today it's very pretty it's one of their new um, spring designs I also got a couple items from Carrie L this is a um, notepad that has like a to-do list on it schedule you can track your water your workout and your dinner so I thought that was really cute and then I'm also going to be giving away one of the uh, mini meal planners in the rainbow pattern this is my favorite so you guys know my love for those. And then I'm also going to be giving away an autographed copy of my cookbook. So if you guys already have the cookbook, then hopefully you can give that copy to 
um, a friend or a family member and then keep this one for yourself. So if you want to enter, just leave me a comment down below and let me know where to get a hold of you at. The best way to do that is to give me what your Instagram username is. So just leave that in the comments below. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will choose a winner for the giveaway this week. Um, let's say Wednesday at 8 a.m. Central and I'll DM you on Instagram or reply to your comment and let you know that you've won. Uh, don't put email addresses in the... Um, <laughs> in the comment because when I did that last time a lot of the links ended up getting blocked and I had to go through and like approve all of them and I'm sure that some of them got caught up in the YouTube uh, abyss of blocked comments because links are blocked so if you don't have a, an Instagram username that's fine um, just check back to make sure if you won or not but if you do have an Instagram username it's much easier <laughs> for me to get a hold of you there so thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope that you enjoyed this grocery haul and meal plan again my cookbook is available on Amazon so I'll have a link in the description box below thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye